The different parts that go into a building varies depending on the country, climate, and rules. In Japan, the average apartment can be as small as 10 square meters. Can't fit a lot of stuff in there. In Asia and some parts of Denmark, several generations of people live together in one household, sharing the kitchen, courtyard, and entertainment areas. Let's talk about what goes into a building in Ontario, Canada. This is determined by preferences and tastes. Canadians have many choices for their homes. Just look at how big the country is, there's a lot of space. The Ontario Building Code is requirements that affect the building design. Interior climates must be kept within a temperature and humidity range. The rules ensure buildings don't fall over and can withstand precipitation, winds, and local weather. Don't worry, architects and engineers can guide you through the process. You know the location for your building, finished site preparations, received permits, and are ready to start construction. First part is a foundation, which will hold the weight of the building and keep it stable. Next, a structure to hold the building up, similar to how your skeleton holds up your muscles and tissues in your body. Materials that have been used are concrete, steel, or wood. What materials will you use? Then we need floors, walls, and a roof to enclose the building to keep it dry. Let's also add elevators, hallways, kitchens, bathrooms, and a living room and bedrooms. We also need doors for the building and doors for each apartment. These should have locks for privacy and security. We need windows to give light. Larger windows are more attractive to residents to maintain a connection to their outdoor environments. Kitchens and bathrooms have cabinets and counters to store and perform normal functions. We can use lots of different materials from melamine to wood, stone, and even steel. Now we're talking, we can see the basic shapes, but we want people to want to enjoy living in the building. Designers add finishing to surfaces that make the apartment more pleasing, attractive, and functional. Paint, wood, marble, and other materials can be used. Now we have to think about the building's functions. We need a plumbing system so residents can have hot and cold water. The system needs pipes to carry water to and from apartments and in and out of the building, typically through pumps. Water is heated with electricity or natural gas. Many apartments in Canada have dedicated laundry machines in each apartment. Some buildings have shared laundry machines used by everyone. Mechanical systems exchange old air and fresh air taken from the outside. They're called HVAC systems, which stands for Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning. They also regulate air to the right temperature, humidity, and purity. Heating and cooling systems are typically powered by electricity or natural gas. Some buildings are switching to renewable energy sources, such as solar energy or geothermal systems. Electrical systems ensure lights, HVAC, and other building equipment can be operated. Each apartment has its own electrical panel for individual control and measuring of the apartment's energy usage. The building also has a master electrical room which has controls for the whole building. Most new buildings also support high-speed internet. The equipment is also typically located in the electrical room. Safety systems are required. These may include emergency lights that stay on in case of a loss of power or fire. In a large building, elevators and pumps become important. Emergency stairs for use in case of fire, generally done in steel. How is garbage dealt with? In the past, buildings had one garbage chute accessible from each floor. The waste just fell to a large collection bin on the ground floor. The bins are removed weekly by a garbage service. Nowadays, buildings have three chutes operating the same way, one for recycling, one for dry garbage, and one for wet or organic waste. A large building may have common areas that are shared by residents. This includes interior hallways, a locked main entrance door, which residents will be able to open. Usually they have a double door to help isolate the internal climate from the outside. The lobby gives access to the elevators in a common mailroom. Usually there will be a common laundry room and space for bike storage. Some fancier buildings have movie rooms, meeting rooms, gyms, and even pools and tennis courts. These amenities add costs to the building. Let's stick to the basics. Think about what the modern family would need in their building. What's the best use of space and how will you prioritize it? Work with your team to coordinate and plan to make sure that all parts match up.